What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are using an off-meta rain team that features Storm Drain Gastrodon and female version of Basque Legion. Should be a fun one, consists of a really cool combo with going into Gastrodon and Basque Legion in the rain, popping surfs, boosting Gastrodon's special attack, and at the same time, getting off some crazy damage because this Basque Legion is choice specs. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by Bruno BGC. Bruno, thanks so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be linking his channel down in the description below, so if you guys want to check this team out more in depth or get the Poke Pace, again, head to their channel, link is down in the description below. But Basque Legion is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Rocket Swift Swim as its ability, so it can outspeed pretty much every Pokemon in the rain, and then the Choice Specs as its item. It's got Surf, Hydro Pump, Lash Specs, and Blizzard. Lovely moveset for a Choice Specs Baxi Legion. In our second slot, we got the one and only Gastron. Not only is it very, very strong and very bulky, its ability Storm Drain is absolutely amazing when we're going up against other Water-type Pokemon. It's got Citrus Berry as its item, Rock and Helping Hand, Muddy Water, Earth Power, and Protect. In our third slot, we got the one and only Pelipper over here, and Pelipper does not have Hydro Pump. This one also has Surf, just like Basque Legion. So it's going to be pretty cool. I can go into either Basque Legion or Pelipper and just keep sending Surfs to boost Gastrodon's special attack. But Pelipper's got the Drizzle ability to set the rain alongside with the Focus Sash, and then his other three moves consist of Tailwind, Helping Hand, and Hurricane. In our fourth slot, we got Tornadus. Great support Pokemon, especially when you're building a rain team. There's Prankster with the Life Orb, Tailwind, Bleak Wind, Storm, Taunt, and Rain Dance to set the rain all on its own. In our fifth slot, we gotta have the Water Earth Shoe on a rain team. This Pokemon hits like an absolute truck in the rain, so again, we had to have this Pokemon. He has Unseen Fist as his ability, the Chewy Scarf as its item, and then Rock and Surge Strikes. Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and U Turn, just in case we need to pivot out and swap this Pokemon. In our final slot, we got Rillaboom over here. Rillaboom's gonna be good for Surge Control, and he's great on its own. With Grassy Surge's its ability and the Salt Vest as item, Rock and Fake Out, Drum Beating, Wood Hammer, and U Turn. Guys, you wanna rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Storm Drain Gastron Surf Rain Team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, and we're going up against a Dedenne team. And Dedenne is a really cool Pokemon. I was actually going to use Dedenne a couple weeks back. I got to get my hands on that Dedenne team so I can actually rock out with it. But very cool Pokemon. It reminds me of Togo Tomorrow, who I actually loved in Pokemon Sword and Shield. One of my favorite Pokemon to use on the ladder. But uh, they also got Gyarados. They got Fluttermane. They're rocking with Great Tusk, King Gambit, and Iron Bundle. So Iron Bundle's a tad bit of an issue, right? Iron Bundle is going to be a little bit of an issue. So from here, it makes me want to lead somebody who can set Tailwind, whether it be Pelipper or, uh, what's that put one? Or Tornadus. So I want to set Rain. Rain's going to be awesome. For us. We love the Rain. We love the Rain. What do I want to do here? Hmm. What is my call? Did we just set Rain and try to set Tailwind with Pelipper? I think so, right? I believe so. I really like that. So you know what? I'm going to go, mm, because I, mm, I want to do what do I want to do I could just go these two which I really like going into these two especially with the choice scarf and then in the back end go gastro oh no I don't want you gastro and actually yeah let's go in with all of them yeah cool so we're bringing heavy rain squad here heavy heavy rain squad so Pokemon that I'm a little worried about is going to be freeze dry uh, Iron Bundle, but if I can get rid of that, come on, man, it's gonna be too easy. It's gonna be cake. It's gonna be cake. Hopefully, it's gonna be cake. So we'll see how this one plays out. But we've been using some fun teams today. We're rocking out with Gaston, little Surf, Rain Team. In yesterday's video, we rocked out with Camera Up, and Camera Up was fire, dude. No pun intended. He was fire. He was so much fun to use. He did some work. But they're gonna end up leading the Dene. Look at this little. Slow mouse. Is this thing learn fake out? I, I if I had to guess it learns fake out, correct? If I had to guess it learns fake out. He also, he's gonna intimidate me. Good thing I am choosing into surgeon strikes. And I feel as from here we just go for the tailwind setup and I might just U-turn pivot here. Yeah, I'm gonna U-turn pivot. I'm gonna bring out Storm Drake Ashen on here. Especially because after tailwind I can straight up just surf on a bunch of Pokemon. Kinda get ripping from there. 
So we are swapping. And plus, if you're going for like a Thunderbolt by chance, something like that into my Urshfu slot, I will bring out Gastron, who is part ground type. We can just dodge them. So we'll see. Will you turn it out? wonder what the Dene is going to do. I don't really know too much about the Dene. The Dene. I, I, I can see it having fake out because look at that thing. It just looks like a, looks like a fake out Pokemon, right? <laughs> it just looks like it can fake out, but we'll see. He ends up just withdrawing it. Okay. Nice little withdrawal here. And he's going to go into... Who's taking this U-turn to the face? It's going to be... Okay, the bundle. And I actually kind of like that. I kind of like that it's the bundle. And the bundle's going to cork drive. Its speed is going to heighten. And where you turn into that? Into his mitt. And this kind of makes me want to bring out Vascular Agent instead. Do I bring out Bask? Bring out Vascular Agent instead? And just Terra Water? Start throwing Surfs? Hmm. Who do I want to go into here? The real question, because Iron Bundle's just, oh my god, such a problem. We're gonna go to Gastro. I might just protect it next turn. I'm going into Gastro. So I'll bring out Gastro down here, and Tailwind is flying. So we're gonna get a little bit of speed. Iron Bundle probably still outspeeds us, because of its uh, force drive. And he's gonna go for a Thunder Wave into my Gastro slot. So good call for us, good call from us. So from here, I could Terrasilize into flying. It's really not going to do much. But I might just go Hurricane into this thing. And protect you. Correct? Because I want to keep Gash on. I definitely want to keep Gash on. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to protect. And we're going to get after it. Because I got to get rid of the bundle. The bundle has got to go. Like I said, if we get rid of the bundle, we could be sitting in a good position. I would really like where we're sitting. So, I'm going to guess that the bundle goes for a free strike into my Gastron slot. But if it doesn't, it's fine by me. I mean, I have the Sash on my Pelipper, so Pelipper should be going off a shot. But they're going to end up Terrasilizing Gyarados here into a Flying-type Gyarados, which kind of throws me off. Why do you want Flying-type? Why do you want Flying-type? That's all good. We're just going to protect this little booger. Protect Gastro. Let's see how this one plays out here. Three strides going to come in that side. Great call for us. Great call for us. And can we just KO this Iron Bundle? I don't know if Hurricane can do it, but I love my Pelipper, and I'm really hoping it can. Pelipper, he got me? Pelipper? That's so close, Pelipper. <laughs> Pelipper's so close. He confused him, too, and puts him on one. But Terra Blast is going to fly here. It is going to hit up on my Pelipper, and... Do I hard swap? What's my play? What is my play here? Gotta go for the Surf here. We're going to go for the Surf, and you know what? We'll stay in here. If you go for a free strike, you go for a free strike. I'm going for double muddy water. Hopefully that thing just hits itself in confusion and KOs itself. That'd be big time. That'd be big time. A little bit of ducks KO. We would love a ducks KO from Pelipper. Come on, give us a ducks KO. Show us a little bit of loving here. Show us a little bit of loving. Because if that thing hits me with free strike, it's dead. That, like even if I terrasse last, there's no point. And I don't want to hard swap into one of my other water types. Because I would rather have them as back in Pokemon, especially with rain cooking. So we'll see what they want to do. We'll see. He's going to end up withdrawing the Iron Bundle. That is totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. And who are you going to go into? Back into the Dene? Back into the Dene. I'm cool with that because Pelper is now surfing. We're making Gastrodon plus one on special attack. And the Surf should do a nice little chunk of damage too. Nice chunk of damage. We love it. Terrible Blast is going to come out here. Take out my Pelper. He's going to finish off with Pelper. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because now we got some really, really fast Pokemon as back end, which is good. I have first turn priority with my Urshfu. I have uh, Bashki Legion, and Gyarados is just picking up. Well, not Gyarados, and Gastron is just picking up a nice little double KO. So that's big time for us. That is big time. So from here, since I know they're forced to bring out Iron Bundle, I am going to go into Urshfu. Because Urshfu has Aqua Jet, and if Iron Bundle wants to protect, we can also hit through it. And then from actually, ooh. What am I Doing that hurts. That hurts. I just realized the storm drain is just gonna screw us over. So I'm gonna have to hard swap Gash on here. I'm gonna have to hard swap Gash on. So Gash, we're gonna hard swap, and I guess we'll just go from there. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind hard swapping him. 
I'm gonna Aqua Jet you, and I gotta hard swap. I have to. I have to. I wish I brought out the Basket Legion, but it's all good. It's all good. I didn't think that one fully through. I was just like, okay, we can Aqua Jet through. So, yeah, I definitely have the hard swap here. So, we'll get rid of that thing. We will have Gastron as back in Pokemon. Um, hopefully, Tailwind and Rain doesn't end this turn. That could be ugly. That could be real ugly, but yeah, we have the hard swap Gastron. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. I cannot afford to take that. Cannot afford to take the freeze dry. The Aqua Jet flies here. We are going to get rid of the bundle. And we'll go from there. So we're hoping we either have Tailwind or Rain. I don't know how many turns are left in it. I gotta check. But that's what is going to cook here. And that's going to take out the Urshfu. Ah. Hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. So that thing is Orb. I do have Berry. Tailwind's gone. That's going to... Is Rain gone too? Just give me one more turn in Rain. I think we get one more turn with Rain, which would be lovely. So we get cooking with this. I am just going to go into Muddy Water with you. Um, is there a point of Thrasilizin? Because I think he just protects this turn, right? Is there even a point of Thrasilizin? I don't think there's a point of Thrasilizin. Maybe just for damage boost. But will Gastrodon thrive better with that? With its... uh. No, we're going to go for damage boost here. We're going to hope that uh, Fluttermane doesn't protect. We're hoping Fluttermane's not protecting. But chances are, it is going to protect. So we get no value in Gastrodon's, uh, in Gastrodon's Terra, so we're better off just using this one and hoping it doesn't protect. Because I really like Gastrodon's typing up against them. So we can kind of throw it from there, but he's going to protect anyway. That's fine. We're going to get a plus special attack boost onto my Gastrodon. And from here, we're just going for a nice lovely surf. So I have Citrus Berry. This one's actually going to be real close. The rain's going to end, though. The rain is going to end, and I gotta figure out which move's gonna do more damage to this thing. I'm hoping Gashon could just finish this off, because he's gonna outspeed me and just get after me. So rain is gone now, and Earth Power is gonna be better off, because Muddy Water actually is kinda low. So I'm just gonna go Earth Power here, and uh, if we can land a Surf, it'd be nice. We'll see, but they're just gonna dash and do some damage to me. So there's a the gleam. Gash on how much damage that throwing to you. It doesn't half me. That really that irks me because I don't get citrus berry. I do not get citrus berry. I really need citrus berry here. Or I maybe I could just KO. Can you just KO Gastro? Do some work here. No shot. I think I'm like one HP off of going into yellow. And that might have just screwed me over here. That might have just screwed me over. Because I need that Citrus Berry HP. No shot. What are you going for? Are you going for Gleam? Can I eat that? And I can't eat that one. That is just... That is blasphemy right there. That is blasphemy at its finest. Come on with that. Come on, man. Oh, one to get things started. That loss really hurts. Hopping into our second match for today's video, and that last match is a little upsetting that we lost. I know I lost the battle when I swapped into Urshfu, not in the Bastion. You should have thought of that turn a little bit more, but it's crazy that that Dazzle Gleam did not do half of my damage and trigger my Citrus Berry, but the second shot did more than half damage and just KO'd me. So that one kind of hurt. It definitely kind of hurt. But like I said, second match is here, and we're going up against a Crest Trick Room team with Ursa Luna. Iron Hands, and then they also have Amoongus, and then adds two back in Pokemon, Urshifu and Fluttermane. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I think Gashon is going to be a lovely little Pokemon. So, you know what? I'm going to go Pelipper alongside with Basket Legion, bring Gashon in the back end, and then last but not least, do I go Rillaboom or do I just go Urshifu? I'm going to go Urshifu here, especially if I'm going to set Rain. I really like that. So, we're going to go Full Weather Squad. Let's get after it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. My only problem with this, with bringing Urshifu, is like sometimes late game will come out and it will just be Gastrodon and Urshifu. So at that point, if we're choice to a water move, we can't do any damage with it. It's just going to boost special attack. That's why Surf's so good. That's why I wish Urshifu kind of had Surf. But he's going to end up leading these two. Um, he's going to fake out my Pelper. So Pelper is going to get faked out. I think from here we just... Did we just Terra Surf? Did we just Terra Surf? Or, you know, I'm just gonna go Helping Hand Surf. 
I'm just gonna go helping hand surf here. The chance are it's gonna be fake out into my pelper slot and then a trick. But helping hand comes out before fake out, which is good news. There's the fake out. We get off a nice lovely helping hand. And surf's gonna get cooking here. So we surf up, we do some big time damage. We KO our Pelipper? Come on with that. We really KO in our Pelipper. Really did that much damage to my Pelipper. <laughs> that is wild. That is wild. But from here. We should just go into you. And potentially just you turn out of here. And then surf again. Mm. Do we U turn? Because I'm thinking. I think it'll be Terra Aqua Jet. We could Terra Aqua Jet. We go U turn for the KO. U turn should KO that. And I should be able to surf. Problem is gonna be. Actually, I think. I honestly think Wild Charge goes into the slot. So I am just gonna go into here. Gastro. And then you turn out at the same time. So we get out the Gastro. Lovely little Gastro. We're gonna hope that the Wild Charge is going into this slot. Thunder Punch, same thing. That works out perfectly. Great little swap for us. He's gonna go for. Oh no! I wanted to KO you! I wanted to get rid of you. I simply want to get rid of you. U turn is now cooking. U turn probably would have KO'd, which would have been awesome. Of course, I'm going to take some Rocky Helmet damage, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I wish I had a good terror type, but I simply do not. I simply do not. I have to go in the Bastion Legion. He's probably going to Thunder Punch me. Um, if I can get off a Surf, I would love to go for a Surf. I'm going to Surf and let a Muddy Water on top of that. Muddy Water's gonna come out here. We do have speed. Maybe I should have just went for. Oh, wow, we don't care the crest. Thunder Punch now flies. We eat that up oh, pretty good. Are you Lunar Blessing again? Of course, you get a Paro, but Paro might help us out. And Lunar Blessing again. Come on, that. Can I land a Surf, though? Can I not be paralyzed? Just pick up some Chaos with Basket Legion. Do you get off the Surf? That is huge. A little bit of Storm Drain boost. And on top of that, I can send this out. So bang, big time damage, we love it. Okay, so Muddy Water should KO the Iron Hands, which is big time. We are plus one now. And Gashon's gonna be able to get some work done. And we have Ursula in the back end, which is pretty good, because Trick Room, I don't know how much longer it's gonna last. But now comes Ursaluna. So Ursaluna's gonna come out here, we are gonna go for the Muddy Water. And we'll go from there. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna miss Muddy Water this turn too. I don't know why. It's 85% accuracy and Heat Wave's usually 90. So it kind of hurts. So it ends up just protecting Ursula and ensure your guts. That's fine. I can get another potentially plus special attack here. If this lands on the Iron Hands. And what I say? And what I say? I don't lie. I simply don't lie. I simply don't lie. I miss my muddy water. I knew it. I knew it. I saw it coming from 85,653 miles away. I seen it. I seen it with my own eyes. It's crazy. It's blasphemy. It is blasphemy. But well, from here, I am going to be forced to choice into close combat. Chill if I get rid of him with. And we'll go from there. So close combat's going to come out here. I'm going to go into another muddy water. We'll see how this one plays out here. But of course, I knew it. <clears throat> I knew we were missing it. Just felt it right in my gut. Right in the gut. It said, you are bound to miss this muddy water. So of course that happens. Muddy water now flies here. Can I KO the Ursula? It does. Thank you, Gastro. Thank you for having my back, Gastro. I love you. Big time, Gastro KOs. Thank you for having my back, Gastro. You miss one, you're like, hey, I'll make up for it here. And you just dump on both of them. Plus, you're out speed in both of them, Trick Room, which is huge. It's very, very big. So, Gastro's chilling here. We got rid of the crest. It is now a 2v1. Trick Room is over. I love it. I can drop some big time close combats, depending on who they go into, though. Let's see. I was going to say, is it Fluttermane? And no, it's going to be a Moongus. This kind of sucks, because I can just go into that, and I'll, all I have is Earth Power. But Earth Power plus one is still pretty good. I think we should be fine. As long as it's not like a Leaf Storm one, right? A Leaf Storm Amoongus could be tough, but how how rare is that? They're going to Terrastalize in a straight water. That's even better for my close combat, so bad Terror type from him. Real rough Terror type. We're not going into Muddy Waters. We're ripping you Earth Powers. Close combat cooking. 
Doing a decent amount of damage. Almost half. And I'll take a defense drop. And nice, lovely spores comes out here. You're outspeeding my Gastro. Wow, this Gastro is real slow. They're, they're just looking to spore me, put me to sleep, and kind of go slow from there. But hopefully this Earth Power can just KO. Leaves them on one. Yo, this game doing me dirty. <laughs> it's doing me dirty. You end up eating up a nice little citrus berry. And we should be fine. I mean, there's no way this Amoongus really puts both me to sleep and wastes out all the turns. The Earth Fruit's going to be slumped. He's going to put me to sleep here. No, he's going to Palm Puff me. Okay, we soaked it all day. That's game set match. Earth Power comes out of here. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Gastronom clutching up in match number two. We are one and one. Let's go hop into a third and final match. Look for a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a Hisuian Zoro team. Really cool Pokemon to be going up against in the third and final battle. They also have Sableye. They got Scizor. They got Sylveon, Zapdos, and last but not least, Garchomp is here. So I feel as going into the Pelipper and the... And the Basque Legion is going to be a great start here for us. They have no way of changing weather. I really like it because the damage output is insane. In the back end, we will go Urshfu. And last but not least, I'm liking Rillaboom for back end support. Really liking this Pokemon. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I didn't want to handcuff my Urshifu in this battle by bringing Gastron. I really want to go be free here so I can choice in like certain strikes and all that stuff and not have to worry about Gastron coming in the back end. So I think bringing Rillaboom over Gastron is going to be great. Even though Gastron's phenomenal, especially whenever it gets a plus one or even a plus two boost in that special attack slot. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I mean, Hisuian Zoro could explode. It has Illusion, which I got to watch out for. And uh, they could lead Sableye for Fake Out. But that's exactly why I let Pelipper and Basculation because Basculation is Ghost. And on top of that, I can help with hand before the Fake Out comes out. So I like it. I dig it a lot. I like it a lot. But yeah, they're definitely going to illusion me, but I, I, just, I just feel as the power of Basque Legion with Surf and the choice specs and the terror type and the helping hand boost is just crazy strong. So that's what I'm looking to do here in uh, this first match right here. Well, not first match, third match. We're in the third match, Jeans. What are you doing? What are you talking about? We're one and one. But Zapdos and Sylveon come out here, and yeah, I'm very fine with just Terrasalize and helping hand and just kicking it, right? Yeah, we got the speed. Pretty short sure one-tap Zapdos. All about it. Terrasalize Surf on top of that. One of them could be... One of them could be Illusion. But I don't really care if it's Illusion. I don't really see it doing anything crazy, so... I'm here. I'm all about it. One of them potentially Illusion. And I'm thinking it's, it could be the Zapdos. But a lot of the Zoroks, when they're uh, Illusion, they usually hold the Focus Ash, too. But again, I, re I really don't mind it because I think Bashkalis, you can just whip up on any of these guys. So, we're going to Terrasalize. We're about to see the power of Surf. Surf is just so good. I love it. Especially with uh, Terrasalization, I feel like double hitting moves are just much stronger than they normally are from older generations. So, we get that nice, lovely little water type, boosting our damage. Helping hand coming out here, boosting it even more. We're all about it. And our speed's already double. Our speed's already double. So Surf's gonna come out here, pop a little focus ash on my Pelipper here, because I know it's some crazy damage. And we go from there. And we pick up a KO on the Zapdos. We say bye bye to Zapdos. And if I had to guess, Sylveon's gotta be Illusion. That's focus ash on the Sylveon. Is it Sylveon or is it Illusion Zoro? It's Zoro. I knew it. I knew it. Little booger out there. But we know he has Sylveon in the back end. That's fine by me. And we'll see what's to work once once uh pop out here. We go for a Phantom Force. That's fine. You can dip out for next turn. That is totally fine. You're going after my Basic Legion, who's now not a ghost type. And he's fine with that. He can eat that up. So Scissor now comes out here. Um Scissor could protect, potentially, right? And I think I'm just gonna set up a tailwind for the rest of the squad if I can. Actually, you know, Basic Legion out speed, so we might as well just go surf helping hand. Surf helping hands to call. We're hoping uh, Scissor's not protecting. He's gonna end up terrasalizing Scissor. What type are you cooking with, my guy? What type are you cooking with? Dragon. Ooh, a little dragon Scissor. I love the dragon terror type emblem. It just looks so sick. But helping hands gonna fly. It is not very effective, but still, the damage output's gonna be big time. It'll be some nice damage here. The Zorok dodges it. You go into this lovely little surf, and how much damage are we doing to Scissor? 
Bringing it to one, yo. That's legit a free focus ash. That's his definition right there of a free focus ash. Lives on one. Hopefully you're orbed or something. It's Phantom Forest we're able to soak. You're gonna come after me with X Scissor? No, pounce. You're gonna pounce on me. I eat up and you're not life orb. That's so lame. <laughs> That's so lame. But uh Earth Fruit probably gonna be the call here. And I think I think I'm just gonna swap Bask Legion. I really am. Do I do that though? Yeah, I'm gonna swap Bask Legion. I'd rather have it into a different move. So you know what? I'm gonna go into that and I'm just gonna need to I'll choice into Aqua Jet and just get rid of Scissor. I'm not really too worried about the sword. Scissor a, a, a little bit more. So wow. Two focus ashes. Well, one was an actual focus ash. The other one's so free. One HP. One HP. We end up swapping the basket region, resetting our choice spec. Babity bobbity boobity bobbity. And Rilla Boom is coming out here. Rilla Rilla. Rilla Boom. Boom Rilla. We said train. Get a little Aqua Jet cooking. We said bye bye to Scissor, but not choice in Aqua Jet as well. We'll see what Zora is doing. I could have went into Surf, but it's doing too much damage. This thing goes to a Hyper Beam. <laughs> wow, it goes to a Hyper Beam. So I don't have to worry about that thing for this turn. I think we can just fake out an Aqua Jet the other slot. Or I can swap if I want to. I could fake out and swap and reset uh, Urshifu's move. But Sylveon's going to come out here. Do I want to reset its move? A little bit, right? A lot of bit. So how many turns are left in rain? Too. That's beautiful. So yeah, this is where we fake out. This is where we fake you out, and we go into Basque Legion. Nice little Basque. So Basque comes out. We'll go from here. No Basque Legion action. Cause we know Rillaboom's eating up another Hyper Beam. That's his strongest move. Zork's gonna recharge. We're gonna flinch. And I just want to reset my uh my guy's moves. So everybody's getting HP back. I am going to try to look to, to send a Hydro Pump into the uh, Sylveon slot. I think also it's leftovers. We got to get after it. Right about now. It'll be big time. So from here, I want to go into U-Turn, but U-Turn might not even KO. So I'll just go Drum Beating. I am going to choice to a Hydro Pump. And I'm going to look to do some big time damage on the Sylveon, which we landed. I was hoping it wasn't going to protect, which it doesn't. So that's big time. So Hydro Pump gets cooking here, and it just takes out Sylveon. So that wraps it up. Game, set, match. I was a little worried about Sylveon, considering it could have taken out my Urshfu in one shot, no problem. But Zorok's just going to Hyper Beam again, and this game's wraps. It is wraps. Good game. It's a good swap from us. We were just playing it safe in the back end. Basket Legion comes out here, whips up a nice little Hyper, not Hyper Beam, Hydro Pump, and finishes off Sylveon. But Jump Beating comes out here, finishes off their last Pokemon, which is this ensuing Zorok, and your boy grabs another winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, two in one for today's video, fully showcasing this Surf Rain team with Gastron, Basket Legion, and Pelipper. Absolutely love this team. Like I said, we only lost one battle, and the only battle we lost was on my mistake. So I blew it. We could have had a winning record, or not a winning record, a perfect record, but I made a bad swap with Urshfu when I should have went into Basket Legion. But it's all good. You guys already know the deal. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.